My name is Gil Kaplan, and I'm a gastroenterologist from the University of Calgary. My name is Xiu Eng, and I'm a gastroenterologist from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Today, we are discussing our publication in The Lancet that is titled Worldwide Incidence and Prevalence of Inflammatory Bowel Disease in the 21st Century, a Systematic Review of Population-Based Studies. The inflammatory bowel disease consisting of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are modern diseases of modern times. Our research team previously published a study that defined the epidemiological patterns of IBD during the 20th century. Since the 1950s, the incidence and prevalence of IBD steadily increased in Western countries of North America, Europe, and Australia. In contrast, few studies were published from countries in Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and South America. At the turn of the 21st century, additional epidemiology data have been reported worldwide. For example, the Asia-Pacific Crohn's and Colitis Epidemiology Study, also known as ACCESS, have defined the incidence of inflammatory bowel disease across 12 countries in Asia and Australia. So with these new studies in mind, we set out to summarize the changing global epidemiologic patterns of inflammatory bowel disease in the 21st century. We conducted a systematic review of all population-based studies that have reported the incidence and prevalence of inflammatory bowel disease since 1990. At the turn of the 21st century, we have witnessed a paradigm shift in the epidemiology of IBD in the Western world. Since 1990, the majority of studies from North America and Europe are reporting that the incidence of IBD has stabilized and in many regions decreasing. In contrast, the prevalence of IBD continues to rise. In the 21st century, the prevalence of IBD exceeds 0.3% of the total population in North America as well as many countries in Europe. At the turn of the 21st century, inflammatory bowel disease has become a global disease. Incidence is likely to rise rapidly in newly industrialized countries in Asia, South America, the Middle East and Africa as these societies become more westernized. Over the past generation, newly industrialized countries are experiencing greater westernization and urbanization as populations moved from rural areas to densely populated cities. Although the prevalence of IBD remains low in newly industrialized countries, with rising disease incidence, it is expected to climb. Therefore, future research should focus on identifying risk factors in the environment that are associated with the early stages of industrialization of a society in order to highlight avenues to prevent the development of inflammatory bowel disease. The high prevalence of IBD in the Western world will challenge clinicians to provide high quality and cost-efficient care to patients with IBD.